Okay, so as I mentioned before, we're going to go over one more way that I recommend um, putting beats together. And this is actually a little easier for beginners, but the initial curve of getting loop samples, and not just one-shot loop samples, but loop samples, one bar, two bar samples into your DAW may be the tough part. So I'm going to walk you through all of that right now and um, give you an idea of how to go about it and how to get other things into your FL Studio program so that you can use them to make beats. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go to angelicvibes.com. Okay. Um, we're going to go to free downloads. We're going to go through here. We're going to see what we like. We're going to, let's try some female, um, female vocal samples. Yeah, let's pull that down. I want to put my information here. All right, so go here. Oops. Right, and I'm going to download. It's going to give me that. Okay, I'm going to open that up. Now, typically, it comes down in a zip file like this. However, my computer, because I'm using a Mac, automatically converts my zip files into a folder. So now for me, I have to actually go back and compress the file and make it a zip file. A lot of times on your phone or your tablet, you won't have to do that. Okay, it should come down as a zip file. If it doesn't come down as a zip file, you may want to download a program that will take that folder and make it a zip file. That's the only way that FL Studio allows you to import samples into your program. Okay, so with that being there, I'm going to go out of here. I'm going to go into my FL Studio, and I know you can't see this right now, but in the top right corner, follow my mouse, top right corner right here, boom, there's an umbrella. I think my icon picture may be over it, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm going to left click, boom, and I'm going to go down here on the right side, and you can see my mouse now, I think. Um, it's under import. I'm going to hit import, and I'm going to touch free female vocals, the one that I just zipped, I'm going to open it up in here. It's going to ask me if I want to import these 18 files. Yes, I do. So now I'm going to delete these um, the archive files because FL Studio has already bought in the, the files that I need and converted them for use in FL Studio. Here's what I wanted to show you. Loop samples are all in. We're going to use actual full-on loops, right? So I'm going to go here, go to audio clip. Very important for what we're going to need to do here, which is stretching the files. I'm going to go to um, my files, I'm going to go to my samples, I'm going to go to drums, and I'm going to pick something, 120. Check that out. Okay, so what we have here first, we have this file, and this file just so happens to have a bass on it and a kick drum on it, so that's kind of a lucky find. You can tell right away that it's not lining up evenly with my bars. So let me count this file out and see what I have. One, two, and three, and four, and one. This one right here should be the loop. So I'm going to take my playhead, and I'm going to drag right before that. I'm going to hit splice, more slice, sorry. I want to get rid of the rest of it, yeah? Now, I need to make this even. I know that this is the end of my fourth bar, so I'm just going to use my stretch tool, not this button, but my stretch tool to drag this out. Because that's where I want this loop to end and for it to start over. So let's hear what we have right now. Did I let you hear it before? Let me undo that. Let me let you hear it first. And one and two. You see, it doesn't. 
doesn't start looping until it gets to the five. That's the end of a bar. It doesn't just loop from the middle of a bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file, take the lower half or the, the dot on the bottom, which is the stretching tool, and I'm going to pull that all the way to the edge of that file. Notice it's an even um, set of bars. One, two, three, four. If I did that here, it may still work, but it's going to sound a little weird, right? So I want to drag it out to the end of the bar according to what it is. If it was a, a loop sample of somebody's voice, maybe that would work, but this way I needed this to be a whole four bars. So let's hear what we have now. <laughs> that is how it comes back in smooth that's what we needed okay so i'm going to go here now we're going to hit plus again we're going to hit audio clip from audio clip we're going to hit my files we're going to hit my samples we're going to go to pianos we're going to find something that we could work with let's hear again remember we have 100 and bpm none of these are really 100 bpm so we're going to have to do another stretch job let's see what we have Like that. Let's just do that. Here we go. So I have. Obviously, that's late, right? We wanted that to land on the two. Okay. All of those were late. The first one was good. The others were late. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to the end here. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do is I want to bring this back to here, right? So. I'm going to go to the end of this file. I'm going to take this dot and I'm going to drag it in. And I'm going to go back and look at my file. You see how they came a little closer to the line? Let's see what we have now. So, there's a couple things I can do here. I can cut this file right here because uh, the first two sounded fine to me, right? More, slice, boom. I can cut those. Delete that, copy this, paste this, and now I have what I wanted. So listen. Right, so we can do that. I'm going to delete that. But what if we wanted to not do that? And we're going to go to undo here, and we're going to put it back into that one file. So well, what I could do again is I can come here now. Um, do the slice like I told you, more, slice, and now I only need to affect this file. This file is fine as far as I'm concerned. If I feel like I could do a little bit more adjustment, this only affects, oops, this only affects this file now. If I want that to be a little sooner, it took a big jump because I had on my snapping. I'm just going to uh, drag it in a tad. That's perfect. Now this one here, because it's separated, I can also Go here, where's my playhead? Okay, so take my playhead here, splice, I mean slice here, get rid of this part, boom. Now I just need to line up this file, which is now separate from the first file, right? So this one is the one that I'm a little concerned about. I can just drag it back, or I can continue to use my stretch tool. Let's see. Now let's see what we have. Again, I can pull it back a little bit because I feel like it could use it, or I can continue to do the stretching tool. So let's see which one I prefer. Good. Okay, let's go see what else we could find. Audio clip again, so I'm going to have to stretch another file because I'm trying to make these all these different things match from different Tempos. That's going to be weird. Let's check it out. I know that's a little fast, but it's only a one shot, which is great. So let's see. That's a little easier. Now, in this case, I probably do want to use my snap tool. So I want it to line up right on that black line. Let's see. Let's try that again. 
get, oops, didn't mean to do that, click, so I used the, the Mac copy and drag, uh, so let's hear what we have now, bring this back, because if it goes over this loop, then the song is going to have this huge, let me, let me let you hear what it sounds like, actually, so you see the difference. <laughs> reason it keeps going and there's nothing playing is because this was too long. If I drew it back to the ending of the four bars or to the next bar, whatever, it will end and start again there. But anytime you have something that goes over those heavy black lines uh, a little bit, it's going to start a whole nother section, at least another bar, if not another four bars. Okay, let's see what we have again. <laughs> cool right so now i'm gonna hit plus sign again i'm gonna hit audio clip we're going to go to i'm gonna show you something i love this i'm gonna go to symbol I'm gonna crash i'm gonna come back i'm gonna go oops to the end here bam i'm going to drag it all the way to the end i'm going to pull it back a little bit and i'm going to come down to this pull this up a little bit is called a transport panel, um, and I'm going to hit reverse. Now let's hear what we got. Kind of builds you up for the next change in the music. Good. So what I can do now is I can copy all of this left click, highlight everything, and draw it down, oops, let me do that again, hold, copy everything, here, go here, to the top file, left click, paste, drag it back, now I have eight bar loop, um, eight bars, okay, so, why that's important, and that's how you're going to arrange your song eventually, and if you want to keep adding instruments or samples, you can here, but, what I want to say is, What's great about copying and pasting like this and not just taking the, the, the file like this and drawing it out and making it a loop um, is you can edit it a little bit better and easier this way. So now, for example, I'm here. What if I wanted to just take out a little bit of my drums for a second? Uh, you know what? Uh, let's do this one. Okay, so let's go back. <laughs> So I have all that freedom now because it's just not one long clip. If it is, I can still cut it in half. But when you have loops like that, um, when you when you loop it out from that from this thing right here, like this, it's a little trickier and it doesn't work this way. Okay, so I like doing it this way: copy, paste, and then go back and edit, delete, or splice things the way that you would like them at that point. And that's how you start to build your song using only samples. Hope you enjoyed that. All right. Um, catch you in the next video.